Hello and welcome today. We're checking out Pendragon. This is a, a narrative strategy game being developed by Inkle Limited. And it is uh, set to come out sometime this summer, but we have a demo over here on the Steam page as of um, a couple days ago yesterday, something like that. Uh, but this is, it's certainly different. Uh, it looks like your typical old turn-based strategy on a, on a grid style of, of Arthurian kind of a game. Uh, but it really um, is like... 90% into the narrative part of the narrative strategy part of the game. Uh, every move you make affects the story and how it plays out. It's kind of interesting and, well, worth showing off here on the channel. So uh, I'll have links below the Steam page. You can check it out. But let's, let's try this thing out and see what uh, what happens here. So the idea here is a sort of infinite replayability because every time you move, you get a different story thing. But at 673, Camelot has fallen. Uh, Mor Sir Mordred has broken the Fellowship of the Round Table. Knights of, the, of Arthur have scattered all hope. Seems lost. Who will keep the dreams of Camelot alive? So we choose our character here. We can be uh, Lady Guinevere. We can be uh, Sir Lancelot. Uh, we've got lots of other folks in here. And this is, I guess, planned folks anyway. Uh, we're going to be, uh, I think we'll be Lancelot. Sure. Our, uh, Arthur's chivalrous best friend and traitor. By the banks of the river, uh, Camilliard? Ferryman pulls the barge closer to the riverbank. A hooded passenger steps ashore before he can change his mind. Okay, so here I am on the edge of this, uh, this swamp. Another vow broken. I cannot even keep my word to stay away from this ill-begotten country. All right, so every time we move, um, it's... Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. It sort of... It's, it, it, uh we gain control of that square. And that's going to affect how we move uh, throughout the rest of the game. You'll see how it shows up later on. But right now, we can only move in a, you know, uh, what's the word? Cardinal directions. Um, as we move across the board, they take ownership of the squares they pass through. Right. Round table was broken apart. Sir Lancelot fled to France, but a terrible vision has compelled him to return. This is as far as I go, stranger. This is far enough, ferryman. From here I will walk. And where exactly are you going, stranger? Mordred and Arthur. They're to meet one last time. And their battle will decide the fate of this kingdom. A battle for the kingdom? Well now. You're certain of that? So now we can change our stance if we want. And go in like a diagonal direction. Quite certain. Arthur will meet Mordred at uh, Camlin in the far north. These rumors, they reached even across the channel. I heard rumors too. Of soldiers out looking for a French knight. That wouldn't be you, would it? I'm curious. When I did this, I played through a bit before. I went this way. I want to see if it changed anything. We go over here. Diagonal steps to take corner, uh, take the adjacent squares with them. And if it was, would you tell them that you saw this knight? That I wouldn't. You're ready to run. Only run forwards through their own territory. This is why we need to be claiming territories, because then we can move faster. And it's on you to stop this battle, is it? I'm coming, Arthur, as fast as I can. Mordred has an army. And Arthur has none. He fights alone. I will not deny him my sword. Well then, rather you than me, I think. Fare thee well, Sir Knight. With that, the fairman pulls away from the bank and disappears from sight. Okay, our goal is to hit this little zone right over here, this little uh, glowy spot. And then we go to the next... Uh, See? Oh, okay. I got you. Thanks, game. <laughs> there we go. Go over. Come on, now. What are you trying to do to me? There. Can I move? Why can't I move? I broke it. Uh-oh. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Yeah, yeah. Here I come. I'll find you, Arthur. I'm your best friend. Or perhaps your very worst. All right. I made it to the end. But either way, you will have my sword. And perhaps you will forgive me. Perhaps you know that Guinevere and I truly loved each other. Perhaps. Oh. 
Will not resist. No, sorry. Still, I hope for forgiveness. Alright, so I got a new ability I can now push forwards. Which is like a charge kind of a thing. So yeah, it's it's not a tactical combat game for sure. It's it's a, it's a tactical narrative game. It's different. Uh, Yard of the Wayfarer's Rest, a short walk from the river make the alehouse known as the Wayfarer's Rest. A few old mares are tied up outside, sheltering from the awnings, under the awnings from the rain. And we've arrived. I shall find a, myself a horse. So we're going to go and if I'm on higher ground from, he can, I can go in any direction. Sure. So I'll move up here. Stealing a boatman's horse is a small crime. When compared to treason. Compared to falling in love with the queen. Okay, so my morale is up here. My morale's going up. Um, so we can move. Well, I don't think he doesn't want to uh, move with me. Come on now. There we go. Okay, besides the boatman inside are too drunk to care. And so Lancelot freezes. Someone is moving out of the darkness across the yard. There's someone here. I don't think that's someone. I think that's some thing. I'm coming, Arthur, as fast as I can. I say he says that every time I move two squares. <laughs> Definitely something here creeping through the dark. He's growling at me. Okay, I'll move up one step. Are you a wolf, perhaps? So close to this village, I will have your neck. Hmm. Nothing but the filthy dog of the tavern. Hey, doggy. Retreat is best option sometimes. Okie doke. So yeah, we get hit once. We're basically done for. So we gotta be kind of cautious here. Not lose the tutorial. I can see they treat you badly. I should take you with me. Except I think you might bite off my sword hand. The dog snarls. Racing through, charging through, you can help dog, uh, help you dodge past him. Okay. The dog gnashes at Lance's heels, the elite past. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I'm sorry, doggy. Out of my way, wretched thing. Dog whimpers as it dies. So I thought hardens his heart, ignoring the pitiful sound. Actually, I didn't have to. I didn't kill him last time. I, I walked by there last time. I don't feel anything anymore. Story has changed. Oh, this is all new stuff for me. Last time I just walked by the dog. I didn't have to attack it. So I can go with Blaze of Glory or Sneaking Jump Attack. Oh, we gotta go Blaze of Glory. This one kills all surrounding enemies, but will fall in the process. Kills across unclaimed ground, stepping back after. Oh, we gotta go Blaze of Glory. Any you ever get a game that allows you to play a card called Blaze of Glory, you play it. I have to best get away from here quickly. Yeah. If anyone I'm not going to do, be happy that I killed their dog. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. It's terrible. <laughs> Poor doggy. Uh, and hits the old mare. He lowers his sword. What shall I call you? Meadow? I had a horse called Meadow as a boy. One last adventure for you then, Meadow. This road ahead leads to the Dell of the Silver Champion. So much for Meadow's memory. Wildwoods. People used to travel that way to reach Brittany. Find your way through the dark for me, Meadow. Okay, so the core story, we have to go path through the darkness, or whatever. Um, we can sidestep while in diagonal stance, or we can retreat multiple squares. No, we ain't retreating. No, nonsense. Sunrise on the second day, the dell of the silver champion. So Lancelot rides through the long night until sunrise comes. The rain is not let up, but the trees provide some respite. Before him is the dell of the silver champion, positioned in the crease of a tight valley. There's no way out here. The only way is forward. So Lancelot rides onward at full speed, determined to catch, uh, to reach Camelon before it is too late. Arthur always liked forests. Never understood it. Okay. Diagonal stance, you can move faster and claim territory, but you can't attack in a diagonal stance, which is what we are right now. The damp rusts your armor. The mud it soaks your socks. Yeah, whatever. Arthur grew up beside the forest. That must be why he likes them. But me, I grew up in a farmyard. I like, well... Okay, hello, bear. 
hop up on this little ridge here. I like it when the animals do not try to always kill you. Bear is crashing through the trees, barely a stone's throw from Lancelot. So we can charge over here. Hold me nerve. You can always uh, hold to pass a turn without moving, but if you hold too long, your morale will uh, will suffer up here. So uh, I'm going to do what the game tells me to do, so I'm going to hold him. I don't know how I could stand this country for its rain. Another bear! Now there's two. Okay. Uh, charging forward using two, two, squ two squares. I'm going to go charge over here. Wink. Now then, not so hard to trick a bear. Just stay calm and let them come to you. So Lancelot breathes quickly. His eyes stay fixed on the bear. And can I attack him? I'm going to hold. We used to eat bears in my home village. We roasted the haunches in red wine. I look at you, bear, and I smell rosemary. I'm, a, I'm an animal. <laughs> I'm crazy. Um, I'm going to hold one more turn. Are you going to come a little closer, buddy? I can't go. If I go here, you're going to stomp on me. I'm going to go... I right, just hold. Coming a little closer now. Not you. Bear crashes through the branches coming closer. Um, okay. My morale's in danger because we're uh, just hanging out here, not, not moving. Um... We're holding one more turn. This way now. There we go. The other bear paces forward, so Lancelot makes ready to strike. And get him. Okay. Some of that red wine bear haunch. Slow and steady now. Slow and steady. Yeah, I can't attack you diagonally, so I guess I'm going to have to, like, come up here. And get ready for you. Must be a way forward. Just need patience. And we can just charge. So now, we, because we own these squares, we can just charge the guy. Bear follows so it's like, it's single minded, careless, foolish. Just like me. So much for the Dell of the Silver Champion. I've heard the creature in the uh, forest of David are far worse. Smile breaks across Sir Lancelot's face. Sir Lancelot's face he calls out to Meadow, and Meadow paces obediently to his side. Perhaps I should have journeyed south in my youth instead of north. I could have uh, been a knight of long sands and starry skies. Somewhere nearby is Dinas Pelham. Sir Lancelot has heard that it said that Sir Gawain took up living there after the Round Table scattered. Ride me safely there, Meadow. I have need of this passion now. At the Holy Abbey of Bedegrain. Path winds, uh, the path winds, winds? Between, winds, between rocks as it climbs down the hillside of the Holy Abbey of Bedegrain. On one bend, it passes a low opening, roughly cut in the stone, a little larger than what a child could climb down into. Entrance is an old mine. A blue silver gleam flashes from deep within. Anything might be sheltering within. So Lancelot hurries quickly past and on towards the Holy Abbey of Bedegrain. Bedegrain. This place seems deserted. Well, not so deserted. There's rats everywhere. Rats! Okay, okay. Rats move diagonally, and they also attack diagonally. Okay. Um, so I have to use these these little symbols I pick up, and they give me like charges for this or whatever. Uh, I'm going to step right here. Rat has caught the scent of Sir Lancelot. Yeah, it has. I'm in danger... I can't actually attack him, can I? Can I look for an opening, or should he flee? So, he can attack diagonally. Can I attack? I guess I can't attack him. I'm going to step up here, I suppose. They're as big as dogs. Jumps around Sir Lancelot. If I sidestep, I can sidestep to there. I need to change my stance. I'll find a path. Oh, well, who are you? At that moment, a voice echoes from across the empty hall. Well met, Sir Lancelot. Who are you? I, I, played, I played through this before, and this is different. Hmm, interesting. Change my stance. Last time was some sort of um, 
don't know who it was. Some sort of mongrel. Speak. I am Sir Laodegrin. I am no monk. As you can see, I though I attend this place. Yeah, I see that. Is the rat yours? I've been after this rat after since sunrise. What, are you gonna kill the guy? The hold. Tell me now, knight. Speak the truth or I will cut you down. Are you with Mordred? Or with Arthur? I'll tell you my story if you, if I may, Sir Lancelot. I rode through Elaine's Valley yesterday. Do you know it? Um, is it a good place? Uh, perhaps I rode it that way once long ago. I remember a bustling place. Is it like that still? It's been destroyed. It was deserted. Hollowed out. Clearly it was Mordred. Perhaps. How is Mordred spiriting villagers away? And why? So you will ride with me then? You bounce a little bit. Country can only heal once Mordred is gone. Oh, I got a new follower. Excellent. Alright, seen some strange things across country. I can now attack diagonally. Oh, he can. He can. Excellent. Excellent. Sir Lancelot and say, uh, Sir Leodegrin prepare to leave the Holy Abbey of Bedegrain together. I could have attacked the guy and killed him immediately. But I didn't, because I'm a friendly guy, other than the, uh, the tavern dogs. God is on our side, Sir Le Leodegrin. I know it. Sir Mordred's brief time is coming to an end. And you and I will be the ones to end it. Like that dog. And those bears. Okay. In Elaine's Valley, it's twilight. Rain beats down, drenching cloak and horse. Two men make their way up to Elaine's Valley. Elaine has dogs. Watch out. Uh, they're going to get some words around the the, uh, the dog circles when I come around. I'll go there. This isn't right. Where is everybody? This is not a village. Is not. It is not. This is a village. Is it not? There should be families, children. Wolf whines as it turns about where it stands. Wolf something packs working together. Watch out. All right, all right. Uh, let's go over this way. When's, uh, what's his face coming in here? This place has been abandoned. There's no smoke from the chimneys. No music, no sound. Second wolf whines as it twists its whirly body. Whirly? Leo Green, get out of here now! You and I can work together on the board. Try bringing Leo Green on the field, okay? Um, yeah. Excellent. Mice and turnips are washing away downhill as the rain pours endlessly down. Mice and turnips? <laughs> Interesting expression. A wolf pads forward, barely making a sound. Alright, not control multiple characters. Only one can move. Choose wisely. So he can attack and diagonal uh, things, but so can I. So I think I... Lance Lodge probably step over here. He can... I mean, he can go diagonal. I... Need to go here. Do you eat all the children here? <laughs> Gur, he says. No one gurs at me. All right, Leodegrin, you can attack diagonally. You better do it, buddy. Um, you. Diagonally. Use your point. Get him. There you go. I've seen some strange things travel across the country. But nothing as strange as a dog. <laughs> Sir Leodegrin brings his blade to bear and slices into the wolf. The creature howls loudly as it falls. Just then, a battered-looking villager stumbles from a nearby house. That was my dog! Blue Arst Flea, excuse me? You killed you killed one of them. Who are you? And where's your band playing the drums? I'm Corbin. These monsters have had me in my house for a week. They came down here in a pack from the ancient long barrows of Dragon's Fell. They destroyed this place. Ran us out of our homes. Who are you? I'm Sir Lancelot. Dog Slayer. Um. 
He attacks. I can run. I don't want to do that. Oh, I'm, oh, can I get attacked by him? Don't go there. I don't want to get hit. Stand, we'll stand and face him. I'm Sir Lancelot. You've come to save us? If so, you've come too late. If I let this rough... If I let the rough villager strike me down, be ready to avenge me. It's aren't killed when attacked unless the party flees or they have no health left, but they are removed from the board. Am I supposed to kill the guy? Is he gonna attack? Is he gonna attack me? No. Is it safe to go there? Look out! Wait, the dogs attacking both of us? What? I didn't get the memo. The dog could attack two people. Corbin. Oh no, no, he didn't. Okay, Corbin. Take that foul beast. He was my best friend. There. Corbin? Can you stand? Oh, he's back. I can. I can. M more or less. You killed it. I sure did. How can I ever repay you? How about a multi-pass? My little fifth element joint over there. Um. I've never seen wolves take over a village before. I think you're lying, Corbin. They were driven out of their holes by something else. By something... Worse. Uh, Mordred. He drives the wolves before his army to weaken people, to soften them. Then he demands their loyalty in return for his help. You've heard rumors. You're going to help Arthur? You, you want fighters, I'm sure. Let me travel with you. Oh, okay, new guy. Excellent. Corbin of Elaine's Valley becomes the latest member of Sir Lancelot's party. All right. What a noble quest. Oh, that was it. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, it, it's strange that it changed so much. I think the reason was... So, last time I... Last time I think I fought Mordred. I fought, like, the Red Knight. So many of Mordred. Whenever, um... Well, when I said a couple screens ago. When I met, uh, Leo. And I'm guessing it's because... Maybe it's because I attacked the dogs. And last time I... The first time I didn't attack the dogs. I don't know. But it certainly changed depending on what I did this time. Maybe it's random. Anyway, this is Pendragon. It's over on Steam. I'll link below and all that. The demo is there, which is what I just played here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.